Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nivya and today we're creating this Zoom wedding guest makeup look. If you're just a close friend who's attending a Zoom wedding, I think this look is just perfect for you because this smoky eye gives an illusion that you have put in a lot of effort and you look put together but yet there's not like a huge effort or not too much detailing you have to worry about. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's just jump right into this video and before that, just want you to take a minute and subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a video. So yeah, let's get started. So for my primer today, I'm using the Nykaa Prep Me Up Primer and for my foundation, I'm actually mixing Nykaa Skin Shield and L'Oreal Infallible. Honestly guys, I love them together. They give a really nice coverage and a very nice mattifying look. So I really love them. And I'm using my Damp Beauty Blender to blend all of that foundation out. Also, I'm using a little extra on my cheeks as you can see because I have a little bit of old acne marks. So I'm trying to cover them up too. For my eyes today, I'm using the Makeup Revolution 1 Million Eyeshadow Palette. So this palette was actually sitting on my desk like forever. So I thought to give it a try today and I'm honestly really shocked I have to say this because it's super pigmented. So I'm gonna take the light shade and start building it on my crease area. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye as well. And now to get that smoky eye effect, I'm gonna use the darker shade all the way to my eyelid and then later blend both of them really well to get a nice clean finish but make sure that you use a clean brush for blending keep repeating this step until you're happy with the amount of smoky effect you want So the only thing which I'm not really happy about with this palette is that I could see a lot of fallout even with the matte shades. So I would suggest you guys to if you're using this palette make sure that you do your foundation later so that you don't mess out otherwise you have to clean it. It's the way I'm cleaning it now with a wet tissue. So I'm gonna make sure that there is no eyeshadow whatsoever under my eyes and once I'm done with that now I'm gonna take a little bit of more foundation and add to whatever area I've removed the foundation from. I'm gonna quickly tight line my upper lash line. You can use any kajal for this. There's no specific kajal I'm gonna use for that. Now I'm quickly doing my eyebrows. This is gonna be super quick. And once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna move on to my lower lash line. Using the darker shade from this palette, I'm gonna smoke it out like one third of my eye and I'm gonna apply a kajal on the same length. And once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna quickly blend both of them together to get that perfect smoky eye effect. So for my contour today, I'm using the LA Girl Velvet Bronze Contour Stick. I have to say this guys, this is so, so creamy and it is so easy to blend with. I think the only liquid, uh, you know, contour I'm super comfortable to try on. So if you're a beginner, I would totally recommend this contour stick to you because it is so easy to blend. It won't dry out easily. You have enough time to actually work this product into your skin. On. Next, I'm gonna take this contour powder from Nykaa called Contour and Highlight Duo in the shade Sizzle Chisel. So why I'm adding this powder contour is because I want to add a little more depth and a little more dimension to my face. And once I'm happy with that, now I'm gonna move on to highlighting my face with a concealer and for that I'm using the Flecker Cosmetics concealer and this is a super amazing concealer you guys because um, something which I really like after I would say Fit Me concealers, this is the one super easy to blend and the way this actually looks on your skin even in pictures i would say i would highly recommend this if you are looking forward to invest in some concealer for highlighting guys just go for this one and now comes my favorite part which is lipstick you guys 
And today I'm using my current favorite lipstick by Smashbox in the shade Gulabe. Such a beautiful lip shade for all skin tones, highly recommend it. And now I'm going to use a highlighter to highlight my high points of my face. And for that I'm using the Nykaa Glow Getter Highlighting and Illuminating Duo Palette. I'm just going to highlight all the high points of my face. Totally recommend this product as well because such an affordable and such a beautiful finish of this one. So after I'm done with all that, I'm going to apply the setting powder because I want to only mattify selective areas where I might have sweat or creasing. Apart from that, everything else I want really glowy, really dewy because it's the wedding guest makeup look or you can use it for, you know, party and all. So I don't want it to be super dry. And lastly, to set all that in place, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray and here we are all done just gonna add some jewelry and we're good to go Thank you so much guys for watching the entire video and if you did enjoy the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a video and also don't forget to subscribe okay just go and subscribe right now and yeah I'll see you in my next video until then stay home stay safe and maintain social distancing.